RAC Drive Lineup supports the ability to create a simple PLC program that operates directly from the host drive. This is referred to as an onboard user program. The onboard user program is created using our Machine Control Studio software. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use Connect software to both deploy and erase an onboard user program. So if you're ready, let's get started. The first question you might ask is, how do I know if the drive I'm working with contains an onboard user program? Well, there are a couple different ways to do this. The easiest way to know, and if you have a keypad, is a visual indication, and that will be a symbol that looks like a contact symbol that I've highlighted here in this graphic and it will appear along the right-hand margin of either our KI-Keypad or our KI-Keypad remote. The second way, and perhaps the most uh, reliable method, is to actually check drive parameters. And there are two that are used to determine the status of the onboard user program. The first one is menu 11, parameter 47. That one is used to either enable or disable the program. By default, it will be set to run to enable the program. Now that doesn't mean that there is a user program there. It just means that if there was one, it would be running. The most reliable thing to do is to check menu 11, parameter 48. That is the program status. So if there is an onboard user program present in the drive you're working with, menu 11, parameter 48, will show a value of 1, which means it is running. The first thing I'm going to demonstrate today is how to delete an onboard user program. I'm working with a Digitex M750, and I don't have a keypad. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is to go online with the drive. I'll connect to it. Then I'm going to go and look at those two parameters I just mentioned in menu 11. If I scroll down, there is menu 11 parameter 47, and it shows run. And 1148 shows running. Um, that means that there is a, an onboard user program there. So to delete that user program, you must be online. And I will just click here. You don't get any confirmation saying it's been deleted, but what you will see is this uh, message. And what happened when I clicked delete is it reset the uh, ethernet here also. So it takes about 30 seconds or so roughly to reconnect to the drive. So I'll try that now. I will go offline and now I'll reconnect again. There we go. Now let's go back and look at menu 11. Now 11.47, still shows running, which is what I expect, or run, which is what I expect, but notice 1148 now shows no program, meaning that the onboard user program was successfully deleted. What you will need to restore a drive that had used an onboard user program is first of all, a backup of the drive's parameters. You can do that using either Connect Software or a smart card or an SD card, but you'll need to do that first. Secondly, and most importantly, to, to restore the onboard user program, you're going to need what's called a boot application file. I've highlighted uh, one of those files here in this graphic. Those files have an extension of .app. To create the file, you'll need the source Machine Control Studio project. If you don't have access to that, you will need to reach out to whomever developed that project and ask them to follow the steps required to create one of these files. 
It's not difficult. All you would need to do is to go to the online menu with the project open and then choose create boot application. I'll demonstrate this next. I'm going to demonstrate how to create the application file. To begin with, it's essential that you have the original Machine Control Studio project that was used to create the program that resides in your drive. Without that, you won't be able to create an application file. So if you're not the person that developed the application, please reach out to whomever did create the application and ask them to create an application file for you to use. Otherwise, tech support cannot help you. Uh, there really is no workaround to this. You will need to have this file in order to proceed. To create the file, it's a simple matter of coming up to the online menu in Machine Control Studio and then selecting Create Boot Application like you see here. So I'll choose that. And I'm going to store this in the original or the default location for these files, which is your Documents folder, and then Control Techniques, Machine Control Studio. So I'll name this Parts Counter to reflect the name of the project itself, and I'll click Save. And that's all there is to it, but I will go and check to make sure that that file was created. So let me navigate to the location of my project, which is right here. And they're in alphabetical order, so let me go down here. And there we have it. That is the file that Connect is going to use when you select Deploy User Program. I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Deploy User Program now. As you can see, I've got my backup project open and I am online with the drive. You must be online in order to perform this action. So I'm simply going to click Deploy User Program. Here is the .app file that was created for the onboard user program that I'm using. So I'll simply click on it, click open, and it will begin to download immediately. Now, as before, it's going to reset the ethernet port also. So I'll need to give it a couple seconds here in order to reconnect. I'll begin by going offline. And now we'll try to go back on again. And I'll try it one more time. There we go. Now, just to verify, I'm going to go back to menu 11. Parameter 48. And there we go. It set, says running, so that means the program has successfully been downloaded and it's now running. That's all there is to it. Thanks very much for watching, and more importantly, thanks for choosing Control Techniques.